Ooh, okay. So I'm a little bit worried about Jonathan Taylor. And by no means is this a knock on him or his ability. But you've seen the, the Colts have had a little bit of an icky offseason because of those injuries, right? Carson Wentz, as well as starting left guard, Quentin Nelson, are both out with those injuries. Now, head coach Frank Wright has gone out to praise Jonathan Taylor during training camp and say he's a bell cow back for the team. And we're going to see uh, him just take a shine this season. And I think that's all good, well, and dandy. But for me, I've identified who are those top three, top four fantasy running backs. But Jonathan Taylor, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to take the chance. I think for where his ADP is in the first round, I myself personally feel a little bit safer taking a wide receiver like Tyreek Hill uh, or even Devontae Adams. So I don't know. I love Jonathan Taylor. No knock on him, but I'm just a little bit worried about those O-line worries. When I'm looking at kind of like who's in the beginning of the second, maybe end of the first, to me, one that stands out is Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones' potential is obviously he showed us he's a very, very capable back, right? Finished fourth in points per game last season. But when I'm looking at A.J. Dillon, who's coming for him, and I'm also looking at who's architecting this offense, Matt LaFleur, you have to take into consideration that they'll fold in different looks every year, which means we have some known things, meaning we have, you know, that, that wide receiver that's pretty good, but we have some unknown things, like how they're going to do different rushing concepts, and especially on the goal line like you're watching right there. So for me, Aaron Jones, let me scoot him down just a little bit. Not a knock on him, just a knock on where he's being drafted relative to value. I will use that same exact talking point so that Austin Eckler won't be mad at me, Cynthia, because he's right on the outside of the top 10 on NFL.com leagues right now. And as much as I love to do it as a player, I'm not really understanding uh, the idea of taking him before Stefan Diggs or Devontae Adams right there at the turn. I get that you've watched back after back after back evaporate before you. So you want one of the top uh, wideouts. And oh yeah, you can add an Austin Eckler right after the turn. Uh, but Darren Waller uh, might be there. There's that That's production that you're just not going to find at the position uh, later on. Uh, but again, draft these guys when you can. But think about uh, the way that the rest of the board is going to shake.